Okay, everybody, here we go again. Another video uh, on Papa's model car room. If you guys like what you're seeing here, subscribe to my channel, Papa's model car room. Uh, I would appreciate it. And as I said in my last video, I was going to switch from 32s, my favorite, to my second favorite. And that is the AMT 49 Ford. There's some box art back there. There's the original box art. Cool box art back then. Anyway, first up is this little red one here. Uh, I don't remember where I got this. But it's pretty cool. Most of my vintage stuff I get at, you know, like uh, garage sales, flea markets, antique stores, and of course the eBay. And I give myself a limit on what I pay. Uh, I usually don't pay over 20 bucks for something unless it's a really, really cool. So, anyway, that's where I find most of these. You can also, you know, friends, family, uh, people you work with, have some stuck up in the attic, in the basement. They want to get rid of them. Always ask so they don't get thrown away. Uh, so we can save these things. Anyway, this thing here is pretty cool. Let's pop the hood here. It's kind of neat under the hood. Check that out. He put that little decal up there. That's really cool. Got the little, uh, I think that's out of the 57 Chevy. That little induction system there. Pretty cool. And let's spin over here. Take a look at the chassis. Did a little, little bit of detail painting there. I like the red mufflers. That's kind of cool. Matches the rear end. Anyway, that's kind of a little dry car. Let's get a shot of the interior here. Yeah, it's kind of cool. He's got the little seats reclining back. I don't know if he planned that or not. Get the passenger side there, or the driver's side. That one's reclining way back. It's kind of cool. You know, these guys built these back then. And they just had such a cool imagination. Here, let's set that over here. Let's bring up another one here. Here's another one, made into a, put the hood on it, made into a, well, let's not put the hood on, made into a little drag car, it looks like, hogged out the rear wheel wells, uh, I think that's a rattle can paint job, just kind of thick, there we go, get centered there. It looks pretty cool. Got the motor in there. And let's get on spin on your shot interior. Just got roll bars. One seat. Ready to go racing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, see so you can see that paint job. I don't know, maybe that is brush paint. Some of these guys could do pretty amazing brush paint jobs back in the day. My brother-in-law was one. He That's all he did was brush paint. They couldn't afford that dollar what it something for a can of spray paint back then. So they bought the bottle paint and brushed it on. It's pretty good detail on that for back in the day. Okay. Let's set this one over here. And uh, this one is the 50 convertible, which is still cool. This kit had some crazy cool accessories in it. Had the custom front end and rear end and stuff. I got one of those that I built. I'll show you sometime. But uh, I love this color. And I think that is brush painted, so check this out. Check that out. That looks to see brush strokes in there. And like I do, I just wax these things up and clean them really good. 
But uh, I mean, that's kind of stock with the white walls, caps, and rings. I mean, I'm missing the bumper there. But this is just how it was purchased. Don't remember where I got this one either. Probably eBay. It's got the little flathead in it, all stock. Uh, let's check out the chassis. It's, looks like you just left the black plastic. And, well, maybe he painted that. That's a nice job of painting the black because that's the color of the plastic there. Made for a nice contrast there. Anyway, that's a pretty neat one. I mostly build and collect the coup, but that's a new Now, this one coming up is really really cool i can't believe i got this for my price limit because usually when you see stuff like that on the interior collectors just go nuts yeah also with you know body work you know custom stuff but this i just love that it looks like he's pipe cleaners and corduroy maybe or something but that is just so... I've got a couple more like this. I'll show you eventually. But that is just so cool. Look at that. That is neat. Man, some kids spend a lot of time on this bad boy. That's a little A gas drag car, it looks like. Let's check out the motor here. See what we got. Oh, I guess this one comes off. Oh, check this out. Got a little bit of... Uh, wiring there got some battery cables and looks like you got some spark plug wires in there maybe oh yeah check that out good old string i did that back in the day when i first started out whoever thought a wire then my dad gave me an old radio to tear apart when i was probably 12 or so and i took all the wire out and started doing the wiring thanks to model car science magazine which was a big back in the day for my model building. Nice job on the chassis here. He's got the red frame, red rear end, the slicks, neat old wheels from back in the day. Those are really cool. Zoom in on those. That is freaking cool car. Anyway, that's it for. Oh wait, I got to show you this. I should. Check out under the hood. Look at that. Look at that. That was like a wash rag or something. Being because of that, the hood, let's zip over here. I'll show you. That's where I keep all of them lined up. It don't fit on there because the wash rag's too thick. <laughs> anyway, let's check out these box arts here again. Love that one. That one I just got last year, so I'm gonna have to build a box art model for that because that looks really cool. I think I have some of those wheels somewhere. And of course this one, and this one's still sealed. Check out that price. Yeah, not $11 anymore. Anyway, if you guys like what you're seeing, remember, if you can see these, subscribe to my channel. So I can uh, get more people to see my stuff. Like I said, I'm working on this. So I'm getting better. So anyway, next up will be some more 49s. And then eventually we'll move on to some other stuff. You know, down the road I'll probably do some how-tos. And, you know, over here is my bench. Stuff I'm working on. Uh, my crackers over there. You got a little munchie when you're working on a model. That's what I'm just finishing up. There's tons of videos out there and channels on how-tos. I've learned tons from you guys out there. So, you know, but I'll probably do a little bit too. You can always learn. You're always learning in this hobby. See, there's a project over there. A swing over here. There's a little 50 style hot rod with a six in it. I just finished that one. So anyway, you know, I got plans to do all kinds of stuff. You know, share things and learn things and appreciate your comments and stuff. Always, like I say, always learning. Anyways, 
I'm out of here. Remember to subscribe to my channel, uh, Papa's Model Car Room. And I will talk to you guys with some more 49s in a bit. Thanks.